Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have started a new initiative which I call Term of the Day. The idea is to take a meteorological term and in a short video format explain the importance of that term and also bring out the dynamics. So today I have chosen inversion layer for this inaugural uh, topic and let us see what this means. An inversion layer is a highly stable column of air which suppresses any convective activity below it. Thereby, it results in the formation of shallow clouds or fog. The presence of an inversion layer also allows the pollutants to get entrapped in a very shallow layer uh, at very short height within the ground, uh, from the ground, thereby depleting the air quality. So the pollutants are unable to move up to the upper uh, layers of atmosphere and hence they get trapped within the boundary layer and hence you have these smoggy days or uh, the days where the air quality is very very poor. So this is all a repercussion of so called inversion layer. So what is the physical mechanism? I consider two states. The first one is the unstable layer which is what the atmosphere is usually uh, in, uh, in, in this state where you have temperature as a function of height and it decreases as you move up in altitude. So you have, you have warm air on the bottom, you have cold air on the top. Since cold air is denser, it will sink, thereby it will create an unstable motion or instability, uh, which is the typical state of atmosphere, which is in a perpetual state of motion. But sometimes what happens is that you have the temperature as a function of height, if you look at the profile, then you have cold air on the bottom, whereas you have warm air on the top. That is what we call as inversion because now it is a very highly stable uh, situation where no motion is possible because warm air is less dense, cold air is denser, so you don't have any instability here. So this is the formation of inversion layer. So what are the mechanisms that aid in formation of inversion layer? It's nighttime cooling or cold air uh, flowing from the mountain. So sometimes what happens is uh, the ground cools thereby the layer above the ground is colder or there could be a flow of cold air from the mountain which undercuts this warm air and hence you have this formation of stable layer. This is very common during uh, morning, uh, early morning or night time and hence the early morning air quality during winter transition is very poor um, uh, resulting in uh, slightly foggy or hazy morning. But as the day picks up then you have this solar radiation which comes in and then it kind of uh, mixes up the inversion layer, uh, the air in the inversion layer resulting in better air quality. The second one is reduced, sol reduced solar radiation. So if there is a reduced solar radiation then the ground will be cooler. Hence we have this winter time fog which is very common during winter season. And the third one is sudden downdraft of stratospheric warm air. So uh, when the warm air uh, from the stratosphere, stratospheric air is warm. So when it dips down due to action of waves. Uh, then what happens is you have this sudden formation of inversion layer where the warm air will be on the top, cold air on the bottom and leading to a formation of inversion layer. This third thing, sudden downdraft from, of stratospheric warm air can happen any time irrespective of any season. So this is the physical mechanism by which inversion layers can form. Uh, so I hope uh, that this was useful uh, and uh, I'll be back with more uh, terms uh, later in the upcoming days. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please post it. Thank you for your support and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.